Uh, so for this vlog, I want to talk about uh, touch, uh, uh, autistic experience is with touch, and and uh, that that falls into the category of sensory overload, uh, along with sight, sound, smell, even taste. And I've talked a little bit about uh, my sensory issues with uh, sight and sound uh, in other vlogs. So this one's going to be about touch. And I've done a little bit of research about this subject. And from what I've found is, is that uh, some autistic people don't like touch, but they want to be touched. Uh, like, um, it was Temple Grandin. I think that's how you say her name. Uh, the the well-known author and uh, uh, animal sci scientist. Uh, she, she's a famous person with autism. Like she wrote a book and it, it was made into a movie. So yeah, she's famous. But uh, she actually built a hug machine which applies deep pressure to whoever uses it. Uh, she says she craves the feeling of be being held uh, held, like, securely held, not just holding hands, but, at, like, actual secured, uh, but she doesn't like the feeling from other people. She, she actually prefers the hug machine. So it, it's weird. I want a hug. Stop with that. And I think it's because of the the pressure. Um, I, th this is just my guess, but I think it's I think it has to do with pressure or the amount of pressure, like when you're hugging a person, that pressure uh, isn't distributed to evenly around you and then with with the hug machine i'm sure it's uh all all around you e e even pressure so so it, it, it would feel better i i think that's that's uh what it has to do with and probably also for me i've never tried a hug machine so I don't know, but with um, touch from other people, uh, I'm I'm kind of iffy. Like I can deal with it for a short amount of time, but. If it goes on too long, then I start uh, getting anxious, I suppose is the right word. Like, for example, hugging. If it was just like a quick hug, hello or goodbye from someone, then I'm fine with it. But if it goes on too long, then I don't know uh, how to deal with it, and I start getting antsy. And also, it's like you know, a pat on the shoulder. If it's just like a quick pat, that's fine with me. But if it's 
like someone someone goes like that, then then to me, uh, uh, it, it feels like their hand is still there, even though they uh, took it off. Uh, but I can still feel the outline of their hand on it, and and it kind of creeps me out. And uh, with and with light touches, like if I'm walking down the street and I kind of bump into someone. Or just kind of like brush, brush them. That I I really don't like. I I don't like that that uh, feeling. It just feels so weird. If I like bump into them, not just brush them, but actual bump into them, then it would probably be better rather than. Just the brush. I don't. Know, I don't know why, but it just just doesn't feel right to me. And it's also not just touching from other people. It's like a touch from clothing. Uh, uh, autistic people prefer. Uh, one type of clothing to wear and sometimes won't wear uh, a, a certain type. Oh, I can't wear that! It itches like crazy! Yeah, like for me, I, I prefer baggy or, or uh, loose fitting clothing with tight, tighter uh, clothing it it just feels too restrictive for me. Uh, I need uh, room to move. I guess if I do wear tight clothing, then I'm just dying to to rip it off. What like when I was a kid, I hated to wear jeans as uh, I always thought they were too tight for me. Now, now I do I do wear jeans, but only if they say baggy or loose fitting on them. No tight jeans for me. Nope. Oh, and also with um, clothing, uh, uh, the, like the tags on the back of shirts, they they used to really bug me a lot. Like they they couldn't be crumpled up. They had to be like flat, flat along my uh, back of the neck. But but now I actually usually wear tagless shirts, which is so much better for me. Yeah, I I, I like them a lot. They they're so much better. And touch can be uh, sometimes painful for certain people with autism. For me, it, it's just uncomfortable sometimes, but uh, it, it could really affect someone and their, their relationships with other people if they don't want to be touched by someone ever. That can really affect a person's relationship with other people. Just touching me. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching me. Not touching. Touching me. It's Aww. free air. Ew. Would you <laughs> cut it out? And while I was doing this little bit of research, uh, um, I, I came across another sensitivity uh, category called balance it, it says like the rocking motion or the swing motion uh falls under this category uh the, the balance ca category um 
and movement is a part of it. Um, and it also mentioned car sickness, which uh, has affected me greatly. Like when I was a kid and we were driving on a windy road, I, I could get really car sick. Uh, so car sick, we had to pull over and let me out. And I, uh, that, that can still happen to me today. It's better now. Uh, like, um, uh, like to go skiing. Um, I have to drive or my family has to drive this, uh, insanely long and winding road. Uh, to the ski resort. And I think I've driven it so much that I'm just used to it now. Uh, but my car sickness isn't cured uh, at all. I think it kind of depends on what I eat. Uh, eat what I eat before or uh, traveling in the car, yeah. some foods or drinks will make me more sick than others. And, and the, the car sickness is caused by movement. That's probably why aut I suffer from it and other autistic people. Uh, so that's just like a brief overview of touch over sensitivity. Uh, it, there's a lot, a lot more out there and about this subject, but I, I don't have time to go over every single detail. Uh, I think I'll put some links below in the description down there. Uh, uh, if you want to learn more about this, but that's all for this vlog. So until next video, peace.